Hey guys, it's Kathleen with Thrifty Riches and I am back with a thrift haul. This is a death pile thrift haul. I drove over to Atlanta and I went shopping in Karen's death pile and I didn't do too shabby. Several of the items already sold, so there's some things that I don't have to show you, but I'm gonna give you whatever I have left. So for those of you who are new to my channel, I'm a part-time reseller, full-time school counselor, and I have an eBay store with my sister and she is a kindergarten teacher who is also a part-time reseller. Um, we troll yard sales and estate sales and garage sales and thrift stores looking for undervalued merchandise we can flip for a profit online. So if you like thrifting content, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, all the things that help us out. All right guys, let's get into it. I'm gonna start with the hard goods first. So this first item is a Pottery Barn kids little rug. I guess you use it in like a bedroom or something. It has the letter A on it, A for airplane. Really, really cute. I've never sold anything like this. And to be honest with you, I haven't even had a chance to look up the comps. So I'm not entirely sure how it's going to go, but it is from um, 2012. So it looks to be in good condition. I see that I'm probably gonna have to run it through the wash. It looks like it might need a little bit of my peroxide baking soda and Dawn concoction on it. Um, but I figure off the top of my head, I think I should get at least $20 for it, but who knows? Okay, I really like picking up pots and pans most of the time. So I grabbed these. I grabbed these pots and pans for only two bucks a piece. So I'm six all in. This is Revere Wear Copper Bottom 1801. So I have sold this once before in a sauce pan version and it sold really, really well and it sold pretty quickly. This is the nine inch version. I am going to combine it, whoops, combine it with this. This is also Revere Wear 1801, but it is not copper bottom. However, it is cotton core and I'm not entirely sure of the diameter of it. I think it's probably about a 10 inch. Now I am going to take the Dremel to the bottom of it with Barkeeper's Friend and get that nice and shiny and coppery looking. And then I'm going to lock these both together. Not really sure what I'm going to get for them. The bigger, um, the bigger frying pan has got a lid with it. So I'm guesstimating somewhere in the 30 to $40 mark. And then the other thing I picked up, not entirely sure what this is. It says Horizon on the bottom of it. It has a number. It's a new day in Horizon cookware. So um, this is also a copper bottom. So I'm definitely going to have to take some barkeeper's friend to this and get it all cleaned up. These, I want to say this is a version of all clad. I did try to find comps and I couldn't find the exact same thing. So I'm really not sure guesstimating somewhere in the $20 mark, but I am not 100% certain. I have sold anthropology mugs once before. This one is by Studio Ares, signed on the bottom. Beautiful, and I picked up eight of these. They were only a quarter a piece. So you cannot go wrong with that. I have already sold two of them, and the two sold for $38. So I'm super stoked about that for 50 cent investment. I had included, I had broken them up into four different lots of two, and then I had put in the description that they could message me and take all eight of them. So the other six are still listed, um, but these sold within 48 hours of having listed them. Okay, I picked this up for a quarter at a yard sale, not really knowing what it is, but when I did quick comps on Obagaji, oh, Obaga, Obagaji, I don't know what that is. This is a facial toner. Um, the comps looked really good and this resulted in my first Vero. I have never had one before, but they told me that this is for sure a fake. So I'm just going to pitch it. It's two fluid ounces and there were actually a couple of others listed the exact same kind. So I don't know. Okay. I love to pick up like pajamas. These are in a size medium. We grabbed these at Goodwill for only $5.99. And um, this is the striped short sleeve top. And it came with this pair of long pants pajamas. So I think I should probably be able to get somewhere in the 50 to $60 range for this set 
uh, pajamas. Really cute, really nice and soft. I don't know if you guys have ever picked up late pajamas before, but these are for sure a bolo. They sell really well. I've only sold one other pair. No, I sold two other pairs and they got a ton of attention the whole time and sold within a week of having listed. I grabbed this free people shirt and we got this at a yard sale for only a dollar. Really cute. I just thought somebody will want this for, <clears throat> for, with spring coming. This is in a size, I can't remember what the size is. Oh, it's in a size extra small. And just in really good condition. Super, super cute. Um, again, paid only $2 for this and should get probably somewhere around $16 to $18. Okay, and another one of my favorites to pick up is Lily Pulitzer. This is in a large, really cute tunic. It has the tab collar sleeves. It has some of this embellishment with the shells on it. Really, really nice. I haven't had a chance to look up the comps on this. It's in a nice coral color. You can almost wear it as a pool cover-up. I mean, it might be intended to be a pool cover-up, to be honest with you. Um, only paid $3 for this at a yard sale, and this will probably sell somewhere around $25. Because it is resolution in January, I have picked up some leggings. This is a size extra small Athleta. Athleta does okay for me. Um, it doesn't go terribly high. It doesn't go at least not as high as Lululemon, but these are nice compression leggings. And, um, I only paid $2 for these at a yard sale and these should sell right around $16. Vintage clothing is not my all time favorite to pick up. This is a size extra large wool blend turtleneck by Sheridan. So it has decent, decent comps. It has only very mild pilling. It doesn't have any stains on it. I don't know that it's the softest sweater that I've ever felt in my life, but you know, it's vintage wool. So I guess, what do you expect? This I have listed for $28. Not really sure about this one. This I grabbed because it was a big size and because it's Land's End, which is kind of a, a bread and butter brand for me. This is a really nice black, I think it's black, maybe navy blue. No, I think it's black. Black denim jacket. It is in excellent condition, no stains, no pulls, nothing. Um, the biggest problem with this is gonna be shipping, it's gonna be expensive. All right, resolution January, so here's a Lululemon workout tank. This one was a bit of a problem because the tag was ripped out. Now it measures to be a size eight. I just got really, really lucky that there was another one that was listed and um, of the exact same tank, even in the same color, and they gave the sizing. And so it measured out exactly to be a size medium slash large or an eight. Blue lemon doesn't go for what it used to. I only paid a dollar for this at a yard sale. I'm estimating I'll probably only get about $14. Okay, I have another Lily Pulitzer. This is also a pool cover-up, also in a size large. This was um, at the same yard sale for $2. Did I pay two? No, I paid $3 a piece. So this was at that same yard sale for $3. Excellent, excellent condition. Estimating somewhere right around the $25 mark. Anthro is also another store that I'm kind of backing off of. Things just seem to sit there a while. This is left of center. It's a, an adorable little tunic. It has this like kind of faux ruffle to make it look almost like you have something on underneath it with this nice light gray stripe and a V-neck. It is in a size extra small. Um, when I looked at the comps, they were just meh. So I'm probably not gonna get more than $15 for this, but I only paid a dollar of a yard sale. Okay. This Madewell tunic is really, really cute. It has this tie waist, as you can see right there. Super light, perfect for the South. It is in a size small. And I don't think it's silk or anything. No, I know, I know it's not. I looked at the fabric content. It's just like nylon or something like that. I only paid $3 for this at an estate sale and it should sell, I'm guesstimating, around $22, $24. Okay, grabbed this J. Jill in a size large petite. 
And I really only picked this up because it was new with tags. We grabbed this for $2 at a yard sale. It's a nice stripe. It has a lot of give, a lot of stretch to it. And I feel like this is going to be a good transition piece when we're moving from winter into spring. And I will probably get right around the $18 to $20 mark for it. This is a sweater by Moth. It is in a size small, right? Yeah, in a size small. And Moth is just okay. I picked this up mostly because of style. I loved the ruching in the front and how it's an open cardigan. Really, really good condition, nice and soft. Also, this is a Raimi cotton blend, so hopefully that will get it moving. Um, picked this up at Goodwill for $5.99 and hoping to get right around $18 for it. Okay, this is a size medium cloth and stone. And a cloth and stone is another one of those anthro brands that just does okay for me. Um, usually it'll sit for a hot minute. I've sold it, but it's gonna sit around for a little while before it sells. Medium is just an okay size for me, but I liked this because it has that glitzy little stripe running through it. Also, this is the softest cotton. I mean, it is crazy, crazy soft. I only paid a dollar for this at a yard sale and it'll probably bring in somewhere around $15. And then the last item from my death pile haul is this Talbot's 3X. This is a silk blend sweater and um, really pretty pale pink, perfect condition, no stains, nothing. Nice open cardigan, very soft and light. So um, we picked this up at Goodwill for $5.99 and I think this will probably go somewhere between $22 and $25. All right, guys, that is everything for this Death Pile Thrift Haul. As always, give us a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, and remember, guys, it's not cheap, it's thrifty. Bye, guys.